now. Yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is free, you know. Um, but still, like I said, gotta can't can't be wild out there. Still gotta make the right plays, and um, uh, we we always say the, the the ball is the team, and the team is the ball. So I'm, I touch the uh, ball every play, and I gotta make sure I take full responsibility that can't make no reckless decisions with that. Can you share what some of those parameters are? Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go back to the you feel with what you're know, asking me and wanting me to do this offense now that you did, you know, back in the game or whatever. Yeah, definitely uh, I feel really comfortable. He's really, what I really appreciate, he's really consistent with what he wants and he really like, tells us every single day what he's looking for um, with, like, he calls it his attack mindset. Uh, just going out there every single play like it's your last, like it's your last play. And just being comfortable in the pocket, and just being tough, and because of like mental toughness and physical toughness. So definitely, um, him being comfortable, he, him being consistent with that, especially on the field, and um, not changing up, just really, um, it's really hard on us. Really, um, as like on the field, is really um, tough on us. So uh, that's what I really like about that. It's tough love. It's you, tough love. You see him like I don't know, just walking around. I mean, he just looks like he's. Just Super chill, laid back, relaxed, and then on the practice field, yes. it's like the guy just you know shotgun two Red Bull. Uh -huh. I mean, how do you, in your own words, do you describe the difference from like Bush, like just as a the guy, and then Bush when he gets on the practice field? Yeah, I feel like um, everybody, uh, like I learned that from him. You know, uh, I feel like everybody needs to be like that. I mean, when you're off the field, like chill, like just be yourself. You know, but when you're on the practice field. You put your two feet on the on the grass. You know, it's, you have a job to do. Uh, turn the turn the flip on, especially like in practice, because like you practice how you play. So um, that's what I really uh, take from him and uh, really trying to implement into my game. Obviously, the playbook is Bush Hamden's, and he developed it. But was there any point that you got to weigh in on maybe some of the plays in there or, or the direction that it went? Yeah, of course. You know, um, we say it like uh, I send them plays or we. Um, like one on one, um, watching film and stuff. Uh, I mean, if I say like I like a play, um, he'll look at it. But you know, if he doesn't like it, of course he's not gonna put it in. He's like, okay, chill, like chill, chill. So uh, definitely, it's a uh, it's a two way street. You know, we have to see the same views, see the same. Uh, like I gotta understand like why he's calling the play. Is he calling the play to throw a deep? Is he calling the play just to get some? four or five yards to make it a third and manageable. And so it's just that com that connection, that communication we have to have. And I feel like it's grown um, definitely since the spring. So excited yeah. about that. How comfortable are you in Ashton as a pass catcher? Oh, he definitely, that's definitely one of his strong suits. Uh, you know, even even in like the Oregon State game when he uh, caught the, uh, the uh, go route, I, mean, I underthrew it a little bit, but uh, he made a play. Uh, and definitely, as uh, definitely, he um, is one of his strong suits. He's versatile. You know, you can put him in the slot. You can put him anywhere on the field. You can put him an outside receiver, and just it's a mismatch, especially when he's quick like that. And I mean, George, George can do that too. So it's definitely two backs can do that. Um, it's put, especially playing at the, in the same time with that personnel is going to be it's going to be really fun for me. I mean, so much of football is just putting your best athletes on the field at the same time. If if there are you know, formations or whatever with George, you and Ashton all in the game, whether it's a receiver, running back or whatever, like how, how dangerous can that be? Oh, it's definitely dangerous because you, like defense, they got to, they got to know like, are they going to run it? Are they going to pass it? And if we run it, okay, are they going to, are we going to do just a regular like run play or are we going to do a zone read and they got to count for three people in the run game yeah. and we have blockers too. so. And especially, like I said, you know, George and Ashton, Ashton can um, play receiver and go off a route, so we can throw off of that too. So just keeping the defense on their toes and you know trying to make everything look the exact same as what we're trying to do. College changed the rules this year where the clock runs on the first down and the scrimmage or what you've done. Have you noticed anything? Is it noticeable? Is it not noticeable? Um, of course, you gotta uh, be aware of the clock in all in all situations and all um, like every time you're on the field, but. You know, especially like in the two minute um, situation, we practice all the time, four minute situations, you know, uh, when it's four minutes, you go out of bounds, you know, the clock is still running. So you, we can, we're aware of, we can still be out of bounds in that, but when it, when it hits two minutes, we can't go out of bounds. We have to make sure we get tackling in bounds and protect the football. 
Um, so, I mean, you definitely have to be aware of it. Where Coach Avalos and the staff does a really good job of um, like always talking about that in the meeting rooms, and um, we do that, especially in the scrimmage, and just being aware of that. Bush said, in, Bush said in regards to your running ability, use it, don't abuse it. What does that mean to you? And are you using it and not abusing it? And how are yeah. you using it? Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely. Um, it's definitely correct in that. I'm not trying to rely on that always, you know, because, uh, like, especially our defense, they're fast too, you know. So I got to beat. If they. If we bring, so we have really good uh, running backs that they bring, like, I don't know, kind of like a, they uh, fill the box, you know, um, having one-on-ones on outside, you know, I have to use my arm, you know, and if they give me a run lane, if they give me that, then I'll take it, you know, but not just relying on that, just like a one read and take off, but uh, scanning the field and, you know, using, like I said, using my running backs and um, the check downs and just trying to use all of my assets because, you know, I have playmakers all over the field, especially my receivers, running backs, and even tight ends. So just trying to use everything. In your opinion, how much better of a passer are you right now, Dave? Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely, I'm definitely a lot, uh, I wouldn't say better because, you know, I feel like I definitely have a long way to go. So I'm definitely not satisfied yet. Um, but I'm definitely a lot more comfortable in the pocket, uh, just being drilling that in our indie drills and with Bush and just doing routes on there. And just even in the summer, just me and my receivers just being out there on the blue um, every single day, just getting that timing down. So I will say I'm definitely, uh, definitely really confident and definitely uh, can get a lot better in that. Jen, what have you seen so far out of Steph Cobb? I mean, like this time last year, He's still coming back from his injuries. He's about to practice. Oh, pretty quick, pretty close. Yeah, for sure. What, what have you seen out of this camp? I've seen a lot of a lot of energy from him. I've seen he's a, one of our smartest football players um, in this program. You know, he he can uh, tell the defense before like pre snap, um, and that that allows him to play quicker. You know, and just the catches and um, definitely sure handed and catches deep deep games. Uh, Deep threat is there, you know, even in the intermediate and short. So definitely versatile in that, really quick, you know. Um, if a linebacker's on him, I know we like we have that connection with that. And if a, you know, even nickel um, is on him. So definitely uh, our connection is uh, really, really, really uh, good. But definitely like everything can always improve. Where have you seen the offensive line get better since the spring? Yeah, uh, I would say, I would say, their connection as a unit, you know, the communication, uh, you know, with the just the center, the guards and tackles, just being able to move together, like I said, as a unit and just display what they like if we call a pass rotation, all of them on the same page, making points and all that. So definitely how they even even when they're off the field, they're talking, you know, I'm talking to them, they're talking to me what they see because we have to be on the same page, not even just me, like the running backs too, you know, the running backs, quarterbacks, tight ends, O-line, we all have to be on the same page with that. So I feel like um, that's where they've grown the most. Okay, thank you all. Jalen, what is the uh, answer?